During the PC gaming show just a few months ago, we came across this mega roguelite to the action platformer as it was titled 30 X, which is a sequel to another game called 20 X, one that's actually purchased over 4 million times so far. This long awaited sequel over here that I personally haven't played either one of which so far, on the scene actually one of the most awaited games of 2023. That's it. This roguelite platformer is releasing on August 9 on Switch and other consoles as well. Coming up behind that, we have the one Arena Brawler multiplayer game on the horizon for Switch, a much awaited game called Giga Bash. Releasing on August 4 for the price of 25 bucks for Switch and other consoles as well. This game is available for pre order too. Doing so in advance will give you about four DLC characters upon release. If you are new to the game over here, it's just like Super Smash Bros. It lets you fight with up to four players playing solo, couch co op, or in multiplayer. Number three, we have Akiba's Trip, Undead and Undressed, Director's Cut, that will launch on August 1st for Switch only. Exceed Games, actually the fine publishers, just announced the update and a new trailer too. Akiba's Trip here is an almost decade-old cult classic JRPG that was previously even released for PCs and now into the Nintendo Switch, finally, in full English. And as funny as it may sound, it's just a game where you're mainly just stripping vampires and undead keen, and here they Story. Take a look, you will find out. So, then prove it! It's the only thing left we can do. Game Kitchen came up with a new update on the long-awaited Blasphemous 2. Apparently the game is now coming over to PCs, Switch, and to both generation of consoles as well on August 24 this year, as opposed to early speculations of holidays 2023. We just got its official trailer through IGN, just take a look, I'll cut the commentary short, just no. Team 17 said this game is going to be bigger in scale in many different ways. Available on Steam and the Nintendo Wii Shop and other stores too, as since a few days ago, Sea of Stars is literally the most anticipated pixel art turn-based RPG in the making. Notice I didn't just say pixel art, because we've got blasphemous in the making for over years. The game is now finally coming out on August 29 this year. If you missed it, Sabotage Studios released a new trailer for it a few days ago, showing off the probably most gorgeous or vibrant looking pixel art on the horizon, a few bosses, the soundtracks, and more. Take a look. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I'm so, so sorry. 
Stray Gods RPG or the role playing musical, if you've been waiting on, went on and just got a delay for a week, and the game is now releasing on August 10 as opposed to August 3. Uh, games that choose your own adventure, RPG, and a musical, or rather music themed game, but a story heavy, actually made or written and directed by the same guy who's been doing Dragon Age games for all these years. Uh, what's even more beautiful though, for me at least, is that this thing is being soundtracked by the same awesome inventory which is the music on the game's journey flower flow many more beautiful games time, time to shine. it's not a simple matter to kill an idol you want answers fight for them how could you throw that god that at me could your heart shrivel any further you abandoned me to a, a terrible, terrible fate. fate this, this is, is not about you. you. True magic is a different and bolder power. Ready to face the music? Only you can decide. Lost in a moment, lost in a song. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. Best friends to the end, right? Lost in a moment, lost in a song. I wish I knew where I fit. Surely your life is just beginning. Lost in a moment. Very soon. Lost in a moment. The idols will be no more. Lost in a moment. The sequel to the chaotic removal this puzzle sim from more than three years ago is finally back on the scene, coming to the Nintendo Switch and the consoles as well, finally on August 15. This year. Well, the release date here was accompanied by a new trailer. Moving Out 2 is said to offer mostly new environments, then introducing more obstacles and new situations to navigate. And it's actually a lot more challenging as opposed to the first one, according to developers. Check it out in case you missed it. Oh. Huh. Gosh, where am I? Coming from the same developers of Souls of Kronos, from no more than a couple of weeks ago, we have another new game on the way going by the name Zombie Soup. This is not an anime RPG, but a top-down bullet hill action shooter. See, Zombie Soup is available on Steam and the Nintendo Wii Shop through a demo right now, we can check them out, but it's coming out eventually for PCs and also the Nintendo Switch, of course, on August 10, in its finished state. First time, I believe, getting a mention of it since his announcement, even though it's been in its early access for quite some time, maybe three years. A door here is a action RPG, but creature collecting roguelike, which is getting on consoles in addition to PCs, finished. And on the Nintendo Switch as well on August 3 this year. It's like a Dark Souls Path of Exile mini game, if you play that one. Oh, yeah, I did mention the game before because I remember this line. And the developers actually know what they did by mixing these two elements. Take a look.
Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, we mentioned maybe once earlier, is now coming out on all platforms on August 18th. Team Reptile announced that the company new trailer and that the game has gone gold, meaning there's gonna be no more delays. If you are new to the franchise here, it's a cell shaded, very stylish adventure we're talking about here, a spiritual success to Jet Set Radio. Here's how it works Bomb Rush has been in development for over two years. reminder of the smurfy driving skills let's start with hefty smurf who will show us how to perform the turbo starts smurf scots coming to the playstation 4 5 switch and xbox consoles as well not pcs however even though that's totally irrelevant because this is a switch list video and the game is releasing on august 22nd it's actually from the same developers of gear club unlimited test drive unlimited and some other goodnesses in racing games the difference though between those and this one is that instead of realistically looking racing games here you play as smurf with an individual card and unique superpowers and play in single and multiplayer that's all and drive on the boost areas to enter a state of dimensional boost just perfect to win the race right last but not least our final advice is coming directly from handy smurf who does not hesitate in using his items on tracks we promise it's not cheating if you use all these skills in race we guarantee a flawless victory especially when you will play in multiplayer mode up to four smurfs competing this video was brought to you by the power of a line a curve the beauty of a painting its colors. Microids just announced that the highly anticipated sequel to Hercule Poirot, the first cases here, and now Agatha Christie, Hercule Poirot Merge, the London case, will be coming out on August 29 and on literally every single platform there is. This game is supposed to offer a brand new mystery, written by the award-winning team who brought the previous one, a brilliant original new story, true to the style and tone of Agatha Christie. Also, this time you play as Higgins. Moving on, we have Skybound Games, rather new approach to WrestleMania games with a game called WrestleQuest, which is not a fighting game, but a turn-based and pixel art adventure. This game has potential. You see, this game's already really well received by many critics and offers a creative, really creative world and a pretty excellent combat system too. I mean, it's supposed to be an addictive game as opposed to just a fighting. WrestleQuest is slated to release on August 8th for Switch pieces and all consoles as well. Fearless warriors capable of swiftly defeating their opponents with a single strike. Previously announced for the Nintendo Switch, almost the same time now, but last year, Sclash here is a platform style or basically 2D fighting game that's coming from the same publishers of the famous game Gunryu, I mean the Gunryu series. It's a samurai themed and you can choose one out of five fighters, play offline or in online multiplayer. Think of Samurai Showdown, except this game is a little less cartoony and more cinematic. thyself vampire survivors is coming to nintendo switch and last but not least it's the one game in the list already rated overwhelmingly on steam and other stores as well a bullet hill action roguelike nostalgia the one and only vampire survivors it's simply a bullet hell game with a roguelike element in different maps with many weapons and enemies and upgrades for you to just get addicted to hell of a lot of time to get engaged with if you did like the old bending of isaac game and how addicting that was vampire survivor here is even more addicting than that i mean go to the steam you will see the reviewers it's coming to the nintendo switch on august 17 take a look couch co-op what other horrors lie in store Find out when Vampire Survivors launches on the Nintendo Switch system, August 17th. 